how to create a distressed or textured brush in Affinity Photo. First thing to do, let's just remove that. Then go to layer and new layer. You always need a new layer. Fill it, so edit and fill, and I'm gonna fill it with white. You could fill it with green, blue, etc. Click apply. I'm gonna turn it into a pattern layer. So with this selected, go to layer and new pattern layer from selection. So now it's a seamless design and I can apply brush strokes to that. So go over to the paintbrush tool and go to the brushes panel and select one of the basic brushes. I'm gonna go with this one, 16. So basic section, 16, right click and duplicate brush. Always good idea to work from a duplicate. So duplicate and it will create it down here. Double click, so you can now edit it. So you're in the brush editor and you can modify the size. So general, you've got here size, also, you'll notice if you change the spacing, it's made up of dots. This basic brush, obviously there's lots of different brushes, but this one made up of dots. And you can modify the spacing so you can see the dots. You can also go to dynamic or dynamics. And you can change the size just so you can get small. Or big. Now, if you're using art pattern pen, like me, you use pressure, but you can also use random. There's other options, of course. But I'm gonna go with pressure. Also, you can change scatter. Scatter X, so it's goes left and right, scatters randomly, and scatter wise, it goes up and down randomly as well. Also, you can change the luminosity jitter, because the brushes are just black, going to be black and white, the texture is. So black and white and gray, and I just want some variety there. So click close. Now I can apply it. And of course, I can go back and vary that anytime. And you can just apply it very rapidly like that. And you can see as you do it, and you can undo, Go to the edge and see it appears on the other side as well. It's seamless, which is great for a textured design. So you just apply it, fill the whole thing, fill as much. You might have some gaps and you'll see that then obviously in the brush at the end. So I'm just going to fill that. Not all, but that's a reasonable amount. Now, once you've done that, what you need to do is save it. Now, it's unfortunate that the application doesn't use the current selected layer. That would be a great feature. Unfortunately, it doesn't have that option. I don't know why they haven't added it. You have to go through an elaborate process of just saving it. So file and export. Now, I'm not certain what formats it supports. I always go for PNG. So file and export. And you can see that I've got some gaps there. Anyway, so PNG, you've got a variety for but you best stick with that one or JPEG because there's obviously only a limited amount of support for the set texture. PNG and export. And I'm gonna save it to this file, so untitled, replace. So now I've got my file. And I'm just gonna remove this now. I don't need that layer anymore. And I've still got this pixel layer, so I'm gonna use that. But now what I wanna do is again another brush. And I can use any of these other brushes. So let's just go and select this one. This one 32, slightly blurry one. So right click, and again, duplicate brush key thing, unless you want, of course, don't mind editing that one and then having to set it back again. So now double click that one, that's the duplicate. And you can modify size just, and again, you'll notice if you modify these various settings, so general, change the size, change spacing, it's again made up of dots, exactly the same. But this time, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to texture. And you've got an option here. So third tab, texture. And you've got base texture. And again, it would be nice if you could just say, use the current selected layer. I don't know why they haven't added that feature, but set texture doesn't do that. When it does, click there and then untitled. That file you've just created and click open. And by default, it doesn't seem to do anything, which is slightly odd. I'm surprised that no one sort of thinks, well, that's really great. Well, what you need to do is go for nozzle. And straight away, you can now see that that textured brush. Now, you obviously don't want to push it too much, but say you push it about there, reduce it down, say 42, and you can see you've got this design all the way through. There's a few gaps. Probably that bit there. But once, you've, once you're once you happy with it, click close. Now, I might actually just resize it a bit, make it slightly bigger than that, and you can see again more of it there. Again, you've got these gaps. Click close. Now, go over here to the swatches. So you've got swatches, got all the different colors here. I'm just gonna go with blue and apply it. And you can see you end up 
with this design. And of course you can use modify here, you can still do exactly the same thing. So dynamics, you've got scatter, you've got scatter so you can build up a far more complex design. Again, luminosity jitter, you can vary that as well. Hue jitter, all these things so you can see you can create a variety of different designs and click close. And again, select and kind of color, maybe that blue. And you can see then, let's apply that. And of course you can vary the size, the width, let's just vary that. And again, you've got that. Unfortunately, the size of that texture, you have to double click in there and then go to texture. And of course you have to vary the scale. So if you want to, you have to want to just change it. Fortunately, there's no feature to change that within the actual brush stroke. That would be nice as well. I don't know why they didn't add that sort of scale based on pressure as well. But then close and now, whoops, now you can apply it again and you can see you've obviously got slightly bigger. But you of course don't have to use just dots. Now I'm using dots in this example for the distressed effect. It could be anything, it could be made up of letters, it could be made up of images, multiple different designs. You've got infinite amount of brushes that you can use. So you've got here brushes, inks, loads and loads of ones that I've created. Please check out my earlier videos on how to create lots of these sort of style of brushes. And you can then use those to create infinite amount of textures and infinite amount of textures for your brush stroke. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you.